Okay, let's synchronize our watches. <laughs> I'm allergic to tetracycline. Yeah, I know, Mr. Monk. <laughs> One dose of tetracycline. <laughs> Kill me. Yeah, look, I have it right here. Allergies, tetracycline. No, I will probably beat you there. I'm right around the corner. I'm at St. Mark's Hospital, emergency room. Oh, it's not me, it's my boss. It's a bloody nose. <laughs> I know. Okay. Me too. All right, bye. Um, Mr. Monk, I'm... Uh, the light bulb out. Yeah. Two, actually. Okay, Mr. Monk, I need to tell you something. Um, don't freak out, but I made some plans, and I'm just going to go for a couple of hours. No. No, 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 you can't leave. You can't leave me here. Mr. Monk, you are in really good hands. It's a really great hospital. And I mean, come on. It's not like it's life or death. It's a, it's a nosebleed. How could you say that? I've lost a gallon of blood. I'm hemorrhaging. You are not hemorrhaging. Look, I've already canceled on this guy three times because uh, of, well, because of you. You're leaving me? Don't say that. Please don't make me cancel again. I really, really like this guy. You're leaving me? I'll be back by 2.30. Natalie, I'm really scared. You're always scared. Yes, but now I'm scared and hemorrhaging. OK, Mr. Monk, come on, please. I have been on call for 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and I'm exhausted. I mean, it's my first day off in, in what, two months? And this date, this guy, it's important to me. Oh, God. God. All right, but I mean, if you really, really want me to stay, I'll stay. I want you to stay. I can't stay. OK, I'll leave my phone on, all right? I'll be back in just a couple of hours. OK, bye. This is my favorite. It, it's from last summer. See, what I do is I read the articles about you, and then I make dioramas of the various cases. This one is Mr. Monk and the Three Pies. What? When you went to see your brother, that's what I call it. Is that me? Adrian, should we call the captain? Not yet, Marcy. We need to gather more evidence. Natalie, get the car. On my way, Mr. Monk. Is that me? It's a troll doll. Huh. Marcy, I can't imagine life without you. Oh, Adrian, I've waited so long. Mar uh, Mar 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 what, what, what's this? Those are my expenses. They come to $310. Oh, I don't pay those. Oh, Mr. Monk, they're all business related. Here, look. Um, this is my gas bill. I'm driving you around all day. Uh -huh. This is my cell phone bill. All these calls are from you. And this is from the drugstore. I'm buying over 200 wipes a week. Here's the thing. I pay you exactly what I paid Sharona. I didn't pay her expenses. Here's the thing. I am not Sharona. I'm an individual. I'm unique. Don't ever compare me to anybody else. Sharona used to say the exact same thing, word for word. Isn't that funny? Mr. Monk, are you going to reimburse me or not? I would, if I could, but I can't afford it. Oh, look, it's the captain. It's probably about a job. Aren't you going to answer that? Yeah, I don't want to go over my maximum minutes. You've got to be the cheapest man I've ever met. Hello. Yes, sir, he's right here. Well, a very good friend of mine has a gambling problem. I need to do an intervention. Maybe Randy could find a support group. I'm talking about you, Monk. Me? I don't gamble. Yeah, that's a problem. You should gamble. 
See, you could be in there right now gambling, winning his money back. You can't be serious. Uh, Monk, the kid is 35 grand in the hole. That is his savings account, his car payment, and the down payment on his mother's condominium. I can't do it. Yes, you can. I just saw you. Mr. Monk, don't listen to him. Look, just you, you do that Rain Man thing. Count a few cards. It'll take you an hour and a half. No, 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 look at me. He has no idea what he's talking about. Once you get a taste of it, you will be hooked for sure. You will never leave. You won't get hooked. He gets hooked on everything. He's the most compulsive person I've ever met. He's like a different species. Thank you. I'll be with you the whole time. We go in there, win the 35 grand back, and then we walk away. Nobody walks away. Mr. Monk, don't do it. Mr. Monk, it's Randy. I have to do it. It's Randy. And then I'll walk away. I promise. Could I have a different ship? This one's scratched. It's his first time. No kidding. Don't even think about it. Fourteen. Sixteen. Twenty. Twenty-five, you bust. You hit twenty? I did. I'm gonna need more money. Stay. Hit me. Hit me. Stay. 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 Hit me. Hit me. Stay. Hit me. Stay. I want to raise my bats. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Nice and plugged. Hit me. Stay. Double down. Sweet. Stay. Hit me. Hit me. Stay. How are you doing? Good. I'm 19,400. I mean, how are you doing? Oh, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. Dr. S Dr. Scott? That's his primary. You're very lucky. Dr. Scott's the greatest. Oh, did you hear that? You have a great doctor. It's okay. Oh. It's okay. Here, it's okay. It's okay. Just relax. Here, I got you. Give me your hand. Here you go. Just relax. You should have some ice chips. Okay, I'll get them. It's okay. Mr. Monk, I just want to tell you that I'm so sorry for leaving you here this morning. It will never happen again. If you were ever in trouble, I will be there for you, I promise. Be right back. Oh, nurse, excuse me. I just want to thank you for being so sweet to him. But I wanted to ask you, do you have the kind of ice maker that makes round ice cubes? Because he'd prefer that. We might. So how long have you worked for Mr. Butterworth? Who's Mr. Butterworth? Mr. Mark. Mr. Mark. It doesn't say approximately. You have to trust the label makers. They're professional label makers. Give me that. Wait a second, you're too close! Are you okay? We did it. I'm gonna write these people a letter. We could have been killed. I should say approximately. Are you Monk? Yeah. Adrian Monk? The detective. The famous, admired, respected detective? If you still want the job, we can go talk in the kitchen. 
What job? Aren't you here from the agency? No. I came here to hire you. I'm Natalie Teeger. Captain Stollemeyer said that you might be able to help me. No. Oh. He said you're the best cop he's ever met. I guess he's never seen you put out a fire. Well, I'm sorry, but um, I'm not really taking any work right now. I recently lost a dear friend. Oh, I'm so sorry. Who died? Nobody died. My nurse quit. The dumpster, the dumpster. Oh, I can't. The porter, John. Have we met? Ms. Rick, you have to choose. I choose death. Hey, they're down here. Go, 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 go. Oh. Go, 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 go. Why did you close it? It's because we're hiding. Oh, can I change my mind? I'll take the port of Josh. Let me see your hands. Hands up. Got any last words? Yes, I, I do. There's something I want to say. <sighs> Happy birthday, Mr. Monk. Sir! So how's it going? Gosh, we should go, huh? Mr. Monk. Where's all my stuff? Not back. It's distracting me. W what if it rains? Then your stuff will get wet. Art requires a little sacrifice, Natalie. Wait, my curtains? I took them down because I needed the light. Eastern light. C'est fini. Take a look. What do you think? The captain's going to love it. Why? What? Well, it's him, right? No. It's you. Me? But she, she... I have a mustache. It's a shadow, Natalie. This is my masterpiece. Take it. I want you to have it. Wait, 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 wait. There. Now Julie can go to college. Mr. Monk, is, is that really how you see me? You're a beautiful woman. So the road curves to the right, and she was thrown from the car? Yeah, like, like this. <laughs> but if it was a Morgan, uh, a British car, then, then she would have been sitting on the left. So how did she hit the rock? You know what else? I remember driving with Mr. Buchanan. He was the pokiest driver in the world. We used to tease him about it. He would not start the car unless you fastened your seatbelt. You want to check it out? <sighs> Probably nothing. No, let's check it out. Natalie, it doesn't matter. I'm not a detective anymore. Daddy, give me your wallet. Uh-oh. Brings back memories, doesn't it? Yes. Okay, here you go. I'm hiring you. We are checking it out. Nobody's shaking hands. Everybody's saluting. Maybe I should enlist. No, Mr. Monk, please don't enlist. Don't even joke about Why it. Why not? Because I love America. Here she is. <sighs> My God. Where's the rest of her? That's it. Is she sinking? No, sir. That's the USS Seattle. She's a class four submarine. Ah. 
You okay? Uh, sub submarine, you said boat. You distinctly said boat. Natalie, you were there. We call her a boat. It's not a boat. It's the opposite of a boat. You familiar with the word float? Mr. Monk, we're already here. How about this? Three minutes. We just go on board and look around. What could happen in three minutes? Asphyxiation, cerebral hypoxia, gas embolism, Epstein-Barr. You know more about this stuff than I do. Why can't I do it from here? I'll just look in the window. But Mr. Monk, it's a submarine. There are no windows. Please. Sing, please. As much as old as friend. Three minutes. Three minutes. 180 seconds. On and off, I promise. Mr. Monk. <coughs> Mr. Monk, that was Dr. Schuller. He really thinks you need to be in the hospital. No. Uh, I'm staying here. Okay. Then we'll stay here. Can I get you anything? How about some tea? Mm -mm. Just a... Trudy's gift. No, Mr. Mutt, no. His time. Please. And at least his time. videotape.